about a news report that appears today on the uh, lankasenews.com website uh, it says uh, the balance uh, 10 uh, state institutions are listed under mr mahinda raja the prime minister of sri lanka uh, government under uh, economic policy and planning uh, uh, ministership uh, you know after assigning the balance to the uh, you know the uh, his brother elder brother uh, uh, mr basil rajapaksha so uh, I think he's uh, okay. So then, in this case, actually, this assigning of the, you know, the uh, topics or the institutions under the finance ministry, part to the Mr. Basil Rajapaksha, part to Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksha, the Prime Minister, took place on the basis of a differentiation between financial assets and non-financial assets. All state institutions that are dealing with financial assets, like the central bank, etc., etc., had been transferred to Mr. Basil Rajapaksha. And all non-financial asset uh, basis state institutions, which are actually listed as 10, uh, that is the National uh, uh, Planning Department, uh, Population Census Department, uh, Policy Studies Department, uh, Sustainable Development Council, Comptroller General's uh, Office, Comptroller General Office is under Ministry of Finance, Treasury is responsible for using you know non financial assets uh, like uh, you know non financial assets are being uh, uh, how to use non financial assets such as real estate equipment machinery gold or crude oil uh, is uh, for national development also like electronic industries dentistry ornament industry historical uh, things you know uh, also uh, similarly cash banking uh, and all those institutions under them are financial assets which have been taken out the all financial assets instituted have been taken out from mr mahinda rajapaksha and assigned to his brother mr basil rajapaksha while non financial institutes specifically like the comptroller general's office under ministry of finance uh, as i mentioned and other uh, institutions uh, which are like uh, uh, the assessing de department the sri lanka uh, accounting and uh, auditing standard monitoring board uh, sri lanka public utility commission commission and the you know social uh, welfare council and the state uh, uh, services uh, provident uh, dip, uh, association so these 10 had been assigned uh, as non financial asset based uh, companies uh, they are still assets that, that can help in national development so national development depends on both non financial asset management and the financial asset management so financial assets had been assigned to uh, he, uh, mr basil rajapaksha uh, all the institutions state institutions and non financial asset institutions had been assigned to mr mahinda rajapaksha the prime minister so this situation prime minister mahinda rajapaksha must take personal responsibility because this is the nature's law karma that do this not not anything else nobody did this purposefully no one ever thought and did this but it is the nature's law karma because uh, we know there are allegations of tsunami funds being misused by uh, then, then Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha, by uh, late uh, journalist Lasanta Vikramasunga, who says uh, he is under assassination threat because he exposed of tsunami funds scandal. And then before that, uh, the Jana Samurdi fund, uh, in fund scandal involving uh, Samurdi banks, which is a uh, low income group bank. Uh, I think involving Mr. S. B. Disanayak as the finance minister and then uh, you know there were like you know the historically there were so many incidents uh, you know and uh, the tsunami funds is the major thing that came under the controversy related to Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksha uh, and uh, also there were so many other accusations that they are using uh, you know used to collect US dollars to their bank accounts rather than to commit into its country. Uh, you know, as the Padujana Peramuna and the presidential campaign of Mr. Gotabe Rajapaksha's extra government expenses involving thousands of ceremonies proved and many Buddhist monks and giving them offerings worth thousands of rupees uh, from where did the funds come, you know, from China or where. So it refers to these allegations of uh, towards Rajapaksha family of collecting dollars to their bank accounts. 
I don't know about the background, but uh, certain allegations are there by the general public of Sri Lanka. So I think according to the nature of karma, which is not registered by the Gautama Buddha or anyone, is there in the nature. The financial assets have been taken out accordingly, I think, based on the law, nature's law of karma and assigned to Mr. Basil Rajapaksha, and non-financial assets have been scrutinized under Mr. Raja, Mahinda Rajapaksha for national development since he actually did national development and still we believe that Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksha is capable as, as the only leader who can spearhead national development and make Sri Lanka a high income category country. So also I think uh, with regard to the, uh, you know, this uh, uh, national uh, Sri Lanka government census, uh, uh, you know, department, since statistics and census department, there must be a system, uh, you know, under Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksha, like an online, like an integrated real-time uh, network, computer network system where childbirths, wherever it happens in Sri Lanka, whether at home or even at the hospitals or wherever it is, uh, when a child is born or even abroad when a child is born, Immediately through the computer networks, such children's birth certificates are registered, issued uh, after uh, properly identifying the father, mother, and accordingly, uh, their de details go into a, a national census, uh, you know, and statistics department records as one new birth to the population, one addition to the population, so that Sri Lanka can plan the resources, especially land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship for their future. Uh, and the development of the country in the future years ahead and accordingly uh, I think national census and population database must take out the death records uh, all type of death records from the crematoriums uh, which are computerized and the burial grounds of all religions computerized from the hospitals from the police custody police stations which are computerized and linked to the national census and uh, statistics and census department and then the you know judicial the ministry of justice the prison so many people die in Sri Lanka in the prison cells. They say they hanged or with the police take out people from the remand prison and say somebody, their uh, opposition gangs killed them while in the police custody outside the remand prison. So because of that, the prisons department, the police remands, police stations, the justice ministry, the law chambers uh, and hospitals, government and private, the dispensaries, uh, the lawyers chambers, the human rights commission of Sri Lanka, the you know, the, uh, all these things uh, must be on the army camps, naval camps, air force camps, uh, Sri Lanka coast guard bases, cyber coast headquarters, uh, uh, etc. Uh, must be defense ministry. After all, there are allegations of paramilitary defense groups loyal uh, to the, the government. Uh, you know, like Pra uh, and Yellow Cats assassinated the innocent youth during 1971, especially in 1987 during President uh, Pranasinghe Premadasa's, you know, Sajid Premadasa's uh, father's time. So because of that also, uh, uh, torture chambers near to the army camps, all these institutions must be linked to the national statistics uh, and census department to take out anyone who dies, right? And immediately death certificates must be issued to avoid a similar type uh, Mulawaikal Tamil genocide so that uh, after all the national census and statistics department's online real-time database would reflect any time without any census carried out every like five year or ten year Sri Lanka do a census even though the la uh, there was a huge gap since due to the war the earliest before the, during the war it was in 1980s that the census was done when I remember as a child school child at that time but then after the war upon my advice president Mahinda did another census so without any census you know as such which spent a lot of money to go to every home to collect information this type of uh, you know genuine truthful recording system of the births and the deaths would ensure real population details on the national statistics and census department's computer databases so this must be implemented because uh, you know uh, land labor labor refers to human labor but it means skill semi-skill unskilled labor uh, uh, together with the land means na natural resources uh, and together with the land labor capital refers to man man-made capital like equipment etc uh, now i think the equipment comes under comptroller general's office uh, and also uh, uh, you know these uh, these institutions and also land labor capital entrepreneurship under the uh, mr mahinda rajapaksha's national policy studies institution and sustainable development council 
uh, could be utilized to improve the factors needed for economic uh, growth uh, and e economic uh, development uh, and national development which is which are land labor capital entrepreneurship